The Grassroots is an American rock band that charted frequently between 1966 and 1975. It was originally the creation of Lou Adler and songwriting duo P.F. Sloan and Steve Barry. In their career, they achieved two gold albums, one gold single and charted singles a total of 21 times. Among their charting singles, they achieved top 10 three times, top 23 times and top 48 times. They have sold over 20 million records worldwide. Until his death in 2011, early member Rob Grill and a newer lineup of the Grassroots continue to play many live performances each year. Currently, band members chosen by Grill are carrying on the legacy of the group with nationwide live performances. The founding years, the name Grassroots originated in mid-1965 as the name of a band project by the Los Angeles songwriter and producer duo of P.F. Sloan and Steve Barry. Sloan and Barry had written several songs in an attempt by their record company, Dunhill Records, to cash in on the budding folk rock movement. One of these songs was, Where Were You When I Needed You, which was recorded by Sloan and Barry. Sloan provided the lead vocals and played guitar, Larry Nectar played keyboards, Joe Osborne played the bass and Bones Howe was on drums. The song was released under the grassroots name and sent, as a demo, to several radio stations of the San Francisco Bay Area. When moderate interest in this new band arose, Sloan and Barry went to look for a group that could incorporate the grassroots name. They found one in a San Francisco band, The Bedouins, and cut a new version of Where Were You When I Needed You with that band's lead vocalist, Willie Fulton. In late 1965, the grassroots got their first official airplay on Southern California radio stations such as KGB in San Diego and KHJ in Los Angeles, with a version of the Bob Dylan song Mr. Jones. For some months, the group were the first real grassroots a Euro, but the partnership with Sloan and Barry broke up when the band demanded more space for their own more blues-rock-oriented material. Willie Fulton Denny Ellis and David Stenson went back to San Francisco, with drummer Joel Larson being the only one who remained in L.A. Fulton. Ellis and Stenson, with original Bedouins drummer Bill Shop, for a time, continued to appear as the grassroots until Dunhill ordered them to cease since they decided to start all over again with another group they would groom to be the grassroots. In the meantime, the second version of Where Were You When I Needed You peaked in the top 40 in mid-1966, while an album of the same name sold poorly. Still looking for a group to record their material and promote it with live dates, in 1966 Sloan and Barry offered Wisconsin-based band The Robs a chance to assume the identity of the grass roots, but the group declined. The years of success, the group's third a Euro, and by far most successful a Euro incarnation was finally found in a Los Angeles band called The Thirteenth Floor. This band consisted of Creed Bratton, Rick Cohuns, Warren Entner, and Kenny Fukamoto and had formed only a year earlier. Entner, who had been attending film school at UCLA alongside Future Doors members Jim Morrison and Ray Mainzarek, was drifting through Europe in the summer of 1965 singing and playing on street corners, when he met fellow busker and American Creed Bratton in Israel, where an Israeli businessman expressed interest in managing and promoting them. But the duo moved on individually and ended up back in LA by 1966, where they formed the 13th floor and submitted a demo tape to Dunhill Records. After Fukumoto was suddenly drafted into the army, the group went through two replacements before finding singer-bassist Rob Grill. In 1967 the band was offered the choice to go with their own name or choose to adopt a name that had already been heard of nationwide. In the beginning, they were one of many U.S. guitar pop rock bands, but with the help of Barry and their other producers, they developed a unique sound for which they drew as heavily on British beat as on soul music, rhythm and blues and folk rock. Many of their recordings featured a brass section, which was a novelty in those days among American rock bands, with groups like Chicago just developing. The bulk of the band's material continued to be written by Dunhill Records staff and the L.A. studio musicians who were part of what became known as the Wrecking Crew played the music on most, if not all, of their hits. The Grassroots also recorded songs written by the group's musicians, which appeared on their albums and the B-sides of many hit singles. As the Grassroots, 
they had their first top ten hit in the summer of 1967 with Let's Live For Today, an English-language cover version of Panji Con Me, a 1966 hit for the Anglo-Italian quartet The Rokes. Let's Live For Today sold over one million copies and was awarded a gold disc. With Rob Grill as lead singer, they recorded a third version of Where Were You When I Needed You. The band continued in a similar hit-making vein for the next five years. The Grassroots played at the Fantasy Fair and Magic Mountain Music Festival on Sunday, June 11, 1967, in the summer of love as Let's Live For Today was at number 15 and climbing. This music festival occurred just days before the Monterey Pop Festival but did not have a movie to document it. In late 1967, the band recorded the album Feelings, which featured much heavier input in the songwriting and playing by the group members themselves. But its failure to sell prompted Barry to take full hold of the reins again as he began to move the band in a more R&B, horn-punctuated, direction. By this time, Sloan had phased out of his involvement with the band and relocated to NYC to pursue a solo career. On Sunday, October 27, 1968, the Grassroots played at the San Francisco Pop Festival as their hit Midnight Confessions was peaking at number 5 and then played at the Los Angeles Pop Festival and Miami Pop Festival in December 1968. Creed Bratton became frustrated by Dunhill's refusal to allow the band to write its own songs and play the instruments on its records. After a disastrous appearance at the Fillmore West in April 1969, a slightly inebriated Bratton was asked to leave the band. He was replaced by Dennis Provisor on keyboards and vocals, and lead guitarist Terry Furlong was also brought in to form a quintet. This was the first of many lineup changes for this version of the band. The Grassroots, with their new members, played at Newport Pop Festival 1969 at Devonshire Downs, which was a racetrack at the time but now is part of the North Campus for California State University, Northridge. The group played on Sunday, June 22, 1969, a week before their hit I'd Wait a Million Years reached the Hot 100. In Canada they played at the Vancouver Pop Festival at the Paradise Valley Resort in British Columbia in August 1969. By 1971 Furlong had stopped touring with the group to pursue a solo career but would continue to contribute on the records during the rest of their time on Dunhill. His touring replacement was Brian Norton, who left in 1972. Drummer Rick Cowens was gone as well by the beginning of 1972 and new members Joe Pollard and another guitarist named Terry joined up. Terry was soon replaced by Reed Kaling. However, Drummer Pollard and keyboardist Dennis Provisor left soon after to go out as a duo and were replaced by a returning Rick Cowens and keyboard man Virgil Weber. Cowens was back for only a short period before he was gone again, turning the drum thrown over to original member Joel Larson. Singers Rob Grill and Warren Entner remained the point of focus during these years. The group's songs during 1967 and Euro 1972 include Let's Live For Today and Things I Should Have Said. Midnight Confessions. Bella Linda, Loving Things, The River Is Wide, I'd Wait A Million Years, and Heaven Knows. Walking Through The Country, and Baby Hold On. Temptation Eyes, Soon or Later, and Too Divided By Love. Glory Bound, and The Runway. By early 1974, the grassroots had left Dunhill and Kaling, Weber and longtime member Entner moved on, while former members Terry Furlong and Dennis Provisor returned to the fold. Furlong left permanently by mid-1974 to be succeeded by Gene Barkin, then by Reggie Knighton. The resulting group was Grill, Larson, Provisor and Knighton. Dennis Lambert and Brian Potter, who had penned the group's 1971 hit Two Divided by Love, and many others, invited the band to join their Haven label, where they released an eponymous album in 1975, the Grass Roots, containing the single Mama Sitter, which charted at number 71 on the Billboard Hot 100. Follow-up singles failed to chart. Equals Timeline Equals The Later Years Equals 1976 to 1981 Equals Their 1976 single Out in the Open proved to be their swan song on Haven. Knighton left in 1976 and Alan Dean took over followed by guitarist Glenn Schulfer in 1977. 
ABC Records issued a final greatest hits package of the group titled ABC Collection in 1976. But in late 1977, Grill decided to take a break from performing and later recorded the 14 Greats album on Gusta Records featuring himself and Provisor. This album consisted of 1978 re-recordings of their hits. The group, still managed and booked by Grill, continued touring with Larson, Mark Miller and Brian Carlis, joined by Lonnie Price and Randy Ruff for touring dates and TV appearances until November 1978. Larson was then joined by the new players Scott Hoyt, David Negi and Gene Wall. Negi and Larson left in 1979 and were replaced by a returning Carlis and Reagan McKinley. During this period, the group appeared on an HBO television special, 60s Rock Scrapbook, filmed at Magic Mountain Amusement Park in Valencia, California in October 1979, with Grill and Dennis Provisor making special appearances. Grill launched a solo career in 1979. Grill toured as a solo act in 1979 a Euro 1980 opening for Fleetwood Mac's Task Tour with a band led by guitarist Rick Alexander. When interest in bands of the 1960s began to rise again in 1980, Grill and Luke Murat took back the grassroots name and toured the United States and Japan. The group's 1981 roster included Grill, Provisor, Shulfer and a returning co -oons. Also, drummer Larson and guitarist Miller were back to sub a few dates with the group in 1981. Equals 1982 to 1993 equals, in 1982, Grill decided to go forward with a brand new lineup consisting of season session players. They were Terry Albury, Charles Judge and Ralph Gilmore. Another keyboardist, Bob Luna, came in in mid-1982 to sub for Judge on dates when he wasn't available. That same year, the new band released Powers of the Night on MCA. This would be the last album of new material to be released by the Grassroots. Later in 1982, the Grassroots performed an Independence Day concert on the National Mall in Washington, D.C., attracting a large crowd and setting a record for attendance, at that time, for an outdoor concert for a single musical act. However, in April 1983, James G. Watt, President Ronald Reagan's Secretary of the Interior, banned Independence Day concerts on the Mall by such groups. What said that rock bands that has performed on the Mall on Independence Day in 1981 and 1982 had encouraged drug use and alcoholism and had attracted the wrong element, who would mug people and families attending any similar events in the future. During the ensuing uproar, Grill stated that he felt highly insulted by Watt's remarks, which he called nothing but un-American. After Powers failed to attract much attention, Grill brought in new players named George Spellman, Dave Rogers and Coy Fuller in late 1983 and headed over to tour Europe. According to Grill, there was also a country single, Saint Somewhere, recorded in Nashville with the same lineup. This single was never released. By May 1984, Grill had returned to the U.S. and was touring with another new group of grassroots that included Dusty Henvey, Larry Nelson and David Page. This lineup's first show was in Okinawa. From this point on, Grill and the group would concentrate on the lucrative 60s nostalgia circuit, starting with the Happy Together 85 tour with fellow 1960s groups The Turtles, The Buckinghams and Gary Lewis in The Playboys. In 1986 another package had them appearing with The Monkees, Gary Puckett, and Herman's Hermits. They were joined in this show by bassist Mark Clark and a horn section, and backed up The Monkees and Gary Puckett during their sets as well. Hanvey and Nelson continued backing the Monkees for their 1987 tour, while the Grassroots joined Classic Superfist, which also featured Herman's Hermits, Mark Lindsay, and Gene Clark's Birds. For this tour, Mark Tamaski handled guitar and Michael Lewis was on keyboards. Terry Denauer was also added on bass at this point. But by October 1987, Hanvey and Nelson were back with Grill and Joe Doherty replaced David Page on drums in 1989. In 1991 Rhino Records released a double CD anthology of the group sparking renewed interest in the band. Mike Steck came in for Denauer on bass in 1992 a Euro 1993 before Grill took over bass again. From here on the band's lineup was stable. 
equals 1994 to 2011 equals, in 2000 Grill released a grassroots live concert album titled Live at Last, which was followed in 2001 by an album with a symphonic quartet titled Symphonic Hits. During the 2000s, the group regulars had available substitutes. In 2008 Grill released a second live concert album titled Live Gold and brought in Mark Dawson earlier that same year to fill in when he was absent. During the summers of 2010 and 2011, the Grassroots had heavy touring schedules throughout the U.S., both on their own and as part of the Happy Together, 25th Anniversary Tour, along with Flo and Eddie of the Turtles, Mark Lindsay, the Buckinghams, and Monkees member Mickey Dolenz. Grill continued to lead the band into the current millennium as the Grassroots sole owner and made appearances with the band until his death. Rick Cowoons died of heart failure on February 25, 2011 and Rob Grill died on July 11, 2011 from complications following a stroke. Equals 2012 to present equals, in 2012 the group was again part of the Happy Together tour and the current band of Dawson, Doherty, Hanvey and Nelson continued to tour nationwide, oftentimes appearing with other classic rock groups such as John Kay and Stepanelf, Tommy James and the Shondells, the Buckinghams. Herman's Hermits starring Peter No One, and April Wine. Again in 2015, they joined the Turtles, the Association, Mark Lindsay, the Buckinghams and the Cozils for that year's Happy Together tour. In 2016 the Grassroots will be part of the Flower Power cruise joining Peter Asher, Blood, Sweat and Tears, Felix Cavalier, Mickey Dolenz, The Guess Who, Peter No One, Jefferson Starship, Mark Lindsay, Gary Puckett and the Union Gap, the Turtles and Christian Nesmith. They still frequently appear at popular resorts and casinos located across the USA as the headlining act. Band members equals Current members equals, Mark Dawson, lead vocals, bass guitar, Dusty Henvey a Euro leg guitar, backing vocals, Larry Nelson a Euro keyboards, synthesizers, backing vocals, Joe Doherty a Euro drums, percussion, Equals former members equals, Steve Barry a Euro backing vocals, various instruments, songwriter, producer, P.F. Sloan a Euro lead vocals, guitar, songwriter, producer, Joel Larson a Euro drums, Denny Ellis a Euro rhythm guitar, backing vocals, Willie Fulton a Euro lead guitar, vocals, David Stenson a Euro bass, backing vocals, Rob Grill a Euro lead vocals, bass, songwriter. Warren Entner a Euro lead vocals, rhythm guitar, keyboards, songwriter, Rick Cowoons a Euro drums, percussion, songwriter, Creed Bratton a Euro lead guitar, lead vocals, songwriter, Dennis Provisor a Euro lead vocals, keyboards, songwriter, Terry Furlong a Euro lead guitar, Brian Norton a Euro lead guitar, Virgil Weber a Euro keyboards, Reed Kaling a Euro lead guitar, vocals, songwriter, Joe Pollard a Euro drums, percussion, Terry a Euro guitar, Gene Barkin a Euro guitar, Reggie Knight a Euro leg guitar, backing vocals, Alan Dean a Euro leg guitar, backing vocals, Glenn Shelfer a Euro guitar, backing vocals, Brian Carlos a Euro bass, backing vocals, Mark Miller a Euro leg guitar, lead vocals, Lonnie Price a Euro keyboards, lead vocals, Randy Ruff a Euro organ, backing vocals, Scott Hoyt a Euro lead vocals, lead guitar, Gene Wall a Euro keyboards, backing vocals, Dave Negi a Euro bass, lead vocals, Reagan McKinley a Euro drums, percussion, Steve Barrent a Euro bass, Luke Moret a Euro drums, percussion, Terry Albury a Euro lead guitar, backing vocals, Ralph Gilmore a Euro drums, percussion, backing vocals, Charles Judge a Euro keyboards, synthesizers, Backing vocals, Bob Luna a Euro keyboards, backing vocals, Coy Fuller a Euro drums, percussion, George Spellman a Euro guitar, backing vocals, Dave Rogers a Euro keyboards, backing vocals, David Page a Euro drums, percussion, Terry Denauer a Euro bass, Richard Fanning a Euro trumpet, Kevin Osborne a Euro trombone, Robbie Barker a Euro keyboards, Michael Lewis a Euro keyboards, Mark Tamaski a Euro guitar. Backing vocals, Michael Steck a Euro bass, backing vocals, Scott Setchman a Euro guitar, backing vocals, Chris Morell a Euro leg guitar, backing
backing vocals, Hal Ratliff a Euro keyboards, backing vocals, Sonny Gerolsi a Euro lead vocals. Discography. Equals singles equals, plus gold record a Euro or IAA certification. Equals albums equals, plus gold record a Euro or IAA certification. Pop culture, the name Grassroots was used sporadically by Arthur Lee of Love, in the Los Angeles area. Dunhill Records secured the legal use of the name by releasing a record, which Lee never did. The song Let's Live For Today has the identical Italian melody and virtually the same arrangement that was used in an earlier song called Be Mine Again. Although this song includes the one, two, three, four, and sha la 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 la's in the grassroots hit, the lyrics are otherwise different. The version by the Dutch band The Scope that was released in 1966 is included on The Pebbles, Volume 15 LP. The band was seen in the Doris Day film with Six You Get Egg Roll. He played the song Feelings at a crowded dance party. The grassroots have appeared on over 50 national television shows including, The Tonight Show, The Today Show, Ed Sullivan, Andy Williams, Sonny and Cher, Good Morning America, VH1 Hitmakers, MTV, and a record 16 times on Dick Clark's American Bandstand. The 1975 self-titled LP is seen in the film FM. The back cover appears in a long DJ broadcast room scene with characters played by Cleveland Little and Martin Mull. The band is mentioned by John Candy's character in the film Uncle Buck. He comments about the music while navigating a teenage party looking for his missing niece. Guitarist Creed Bratton played a character also named Creed Bratton, a fictional version of himself in the U.S. version of the television show The Office. In a scene that never aired from the episode Booze Cruise, Bratton's boss, Michael, borrowed the guitar from a cruise ship's band and poorly plays a version of Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. Bratton then takes the guitar from Michael and proceeds to surprise the rest of the passengers with his excellent playing. The scene then cuts to a confessional, where Bratton talks of his time with the grassroots, complete with pictures of the actual band and references to actual tours. In another deleted scene from the episode Product Recall, a fictional Scranton Times writer notices Bratton was a member of the grassroots. He also sang one of his own songs titled Spinnin' N' Reelin' in the episode of Beanie Hanna Christmas. In the series finale, it is revealed in the actual episode that Creed was a member of the grassroots. Creed performs his own song All the Faces to close out the episode. The band was mentioned frequently on the nationally syndicated Don and Mike radio show. Don Geronimo sat in with the band several times at performances in the Washington, D.C. area. The grassroots version of the Bob Dylan song, Ballad of a Thin Man, was featured in the 1987 Robin Williams film Good Morning, Vietnam. The grassroots song Midnight Confessions was featured in the 1997 film Jackie Brown. In 2006 former manager Marty Angelo published a book entitled Once Life Matters, A New Beginning, which has numerous stories about his life on the road with Rob Grill and the grassroots back in the early 1970s. See also List of best charting U.S. music artists References External links Official website the Grassroots at AllMusic.com, Mark Dawson.